guys, it's your boy Stay Tuned Mike here, obviously celebrating this amazing new room. Come on guys, you gotta give me some love on this room. Uh, we have been kind of setting up things, moving things around here and there, trying to adjust uh, to everything. We added a couple of new things, as you can see, we definitely threw up, uh, you know, the challenge right here. We got this from the spray paint. Um, I don't know, you kind of see the uh, toxic waste right there too. That's definitely there. Uh, but man, it was so awesome kind of making things here, making things a little bit better and a little bit more entertaining uh, to look at, definitely to look at. So anyway guys, I have a super cool video for you guys today. Uh, what I'm gonna do essentially is I'm gonna help you guys out with something that you are struggling with. I know you're struggling guys, I know you are. Uh, see, so it's at this point, November 30th, which means tomorrow starts December 1st and in December, we have Christmas. Christmas is, uh, it's amazing. So, with that in mind, I have a couple of tips here for you guys. Some tips because why? Because we need to start figuring out what we're gonna give people on Christmas Day. We have to, we have to get to the bottom of this. So, anyway, I have here my trusty old little guide and we're gonna give you guys a couple of quick tips. So, the first tip right here is to start thinking now. Okay, now is the time to start thinking. You need to start planning, you start figuring things out and right now is the time to start. We have a whole month which gives you plenty of time to get to the bottom of what the people you want to give gifts to, the people who deserve gifts in your life. Don't, don't, get, don't get me wrong, not everybody deserves gifts. Not everybody deserves gifts, you know who you are. But for the people that do deserve gifts, we have a couple tips for you. So here we go, um, tip two, make a list of their likes and their interests. So what you want to do is you want to sit down, you want to grab a pen, pen and paper, and uh, if it's your mom, if it's your brother, if it's your sister, whoever it is, you want to sit down, you want to start writing down lists of the things that they like and the things that they are interested in. See, once you have that, then you have a basis of where to start looking for your gift ideas. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely necessary, definitely necessary. Um, moving on, so tip number three, okay, this is crucial start doing your research. You need to start now. You need to go in and uh, if you go to Amazon, for example, Amazon, you can go in and there's gift ideas for him, for her, um, gift ideas uh, for mom, for dad, you know, start looking into different ideas, start doing your research, which, you know, the fact that you started watching this video means you're doing your research already. So kudos to you on that one. So once you start doing your research and uh, it'll help you come up with more ideas, help you come up with ideas, get ideas, see what all is out there, what exists, uh, which is key. So let's move on. Tip number four, give an experience. Oftentimes when people think whenever they're giving a gift is the gift has to be an object, a single object or a single thing. Uh, it's not true, okay? Not the case at all. Actually, whenever you're giving something, it has, it, it has to just be something of meaning. Meaning you can give them, for example, uh, tickets to the, the next Rockets game, Texans game, uh, tickets to a movie, um, tickets to an event, tickets to something that you have to go and do and participate in. Some, sometimes those gift ideas can be the best ones. And finally, my last tip for you guys, my final tip for you in your search for gifts. Make the delivery an experience. Now I know at this point you're thinking to yourself, you're saying, hold on now Mike, how am I gonna do that? Well, let me explain. So what I mean is, take the time to be creative in the way you give the gift. For example, I've always been a big, big fan of whenever people put uh, something very small inside a bunch of different boxes that are bigger and bigger and then you got to go through each one and that's hilarious and, and it makes it memorable and it makes it beautiful another great thing is I've seen is uh, I saw one time where this guy completely duct taped the entire gift it was hilarious I thought it was hilarious because this guy was struggling to get into essentially what I'm trying to say is make the delivery process memorable make it something that that people won't forget now, in the spirit of Christmas, okay, we want you to go out and to, to take some time and to consider what you're gonna give people because this is a big thing, this is a big deal. And the more time you spend thinking about it, the more it'll show. The more that it comes from you and has something to do with you, the, the more it'll show to the people who are receiving. And hopefully, 
somebody out there is doing the same thing for you. Now, I'm not one to, to brag, but there are definitely some great Stay Tuned Mike shirts out there as a great gift. I'm just saying, could be a good gift. I don't know. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. I hope these tips can definitely find you at a great time. Hopefully they got to you early enough so you can start planning. That's the goal here, start planning. We got a lot of great things coming to you in the month of December from Stay Tuned Mike. So make sure you guys like down below if you want more tips and tricks like this for upcoming things and subscribe. Definitely, definitely subscribe. Thanks for watching guys and stay tuned.